Thank you for joining me, World of Warships Legends. This is Crazy Man. Today we're going to play with the Premium Tier 7 Russian Battleship Lenin. Like I say in all my videos, I don't promise I'm going to win. I'm not going to promise high damage. I just promise I'm going to do my best. That being said, and just for the record, I'm not very good with Russian battleships. So... And yes, we'll go over the captain's build and of the game. Oh, the ship does got a unique design to it. I think it's kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, let's see where we're up against. Uh, we're not the highest. And we got two John Barts. Interesting. And yes, I do have a tank built on this. Which is... Mm, I'm not a fan of it. But... With the Russia battleship, I really don't have a choice. I really want to get rid of the anchorage. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Was luck. There's one good thing about this battleship already. It definitely is maneuverable. I just don't want to go broadside to all those heavy hitters. And that is what I'm talking about. They just took a chunk right out of me. Now that was a good salvo right there, 14,000.
they did get rid of one DD. I'm going to try to get rid of that battleship. Got rid of them. If I can get rid of that uh, cruiser, that'd be great, but... See, we got a DD over there. He, okay, I understand he's out pretty much low life. Low hit points, but he... Uh, Try to should have tried to do better, get rid of that other DD. Oh look. A Valdowski. Oh, I was going the wrong way. I chucked him a little bit, nothing major. Nothing to write home about. I'm so far got lucky I haven't used any of my damage con, but I did settle down the crap out of him. Uh, I spoke too soon. The ship is on fire. Truthfully, I don't got too many hit points right now. Problem solved, sir. I know I slapped that anchorage around, but we do have a DD over here. And, uh... The Zeitin is going to get smacked, you know, there that's all there is to it, you know. I don't know if I can clear that island. I don't think I did, so. I was actually, okay, they got rid of them. This is a very close game. There's no doubt about it, but the Valdowski's right there. Oh, he's on the island. All right. Hopefully that kills him. They did. Oh, that's my. Uh, I'm going to take one. Oh, hell no. I'm going to take two. And there's my death. God. 
Ah, oh, I couldn't get it turned enough. Didn't have it turned enough. Battle ends in five minutes. We do got the lead, but they need at least go get that point. And the minor. Yeah, I don't see this. We might win. I don't. I mean, we're ahead of points right now. This will be a close game. A very close one. Unfortunately, we're going to start losing ships. The he took a torpedo hit. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. That's a British ship. So it could generate quite a bit of health left. I mean back, which is a good deal. Our victory is in sight. Now these two, if they gang up on that their destroyer, they should be able to take them out and give us the edge, the chance of winning. And he's way over there. He's got a fat... Okay, never mind. We got it. They did take him out. That put us in a great... Best advantage... We have. The Russia battleship now, he's pretty much toast. Yeah, he went boom. Right now, I wouldn't even shoot at him. Because he could one shot and kill each one of them. He's lucky he missed. He's not lucky. And this is what I don't understand. Why take a chance? We got the we got it. Just leave. 
All he's got to do is hit you once and you're gone. We got lucky. What I mean by luck, if he would have connected without missing that DD, that DD would have been dead. Sometimes you got to win smarter, not harder. And yes, we did win the game, but taking a chance like that, I wouldn't. If I would have just left that area, went somewhere else. Anyways, I finished with 80,300. 22 total damage not the greatest i didn't promise i would uh we did win that's a bonus uh targets hit 46 detected three two kills one citadel i am number four on the leaderboard which not too shabby um yeah made some money anyway so let's get to the captain's belt and you can see who i pick i'm not very good at tank builds but there's a reason. So we'll go over Kurdrof. I'm not even going to say his name. Inspiration, Andrew Cunningham and Shine Horse. Yes, I did build a dispersion and grouping built. And I was, he's rank 16, Legends 2. Um, you see what I picked. There is a disadvantage with this belt. We'll go over that in a second. The reason why, we'll go over here. We get five damage control parties and four repair parties. That's a plus. Let's go over the upgrades real quick. Aiming system mod one. Steering gear mod two. Which maneuverability, this thing is awesome. You see my system mod one, I might swap it over for that. And I do got main battery reload time, main battery mod three. I'll let you look at the belts real quick. Now there is a difference with this commander built. And it's not here, it's right here. Your AP shell damage is only 13,100. It's a little higher for somebody else. Your range is shorter. We'll let you look over that real quick. We'll go over the other cap commander real quick. Well, sorry. AAs, you got decent. They're pretty decent. Um... But right here, this is where this thing shines. Maximum speed, 28.5 knots. Not too bad. Turning circle radius, 840 millimeters. Not too bad. Rudder shift time, 10.8 seconds. Really good for a battleship. And you're consuming it's 13.2. Now, remember right here, we're going to show you a different captain's belt. I think it's this one. It is. You get three damage control parties and two repair parties. This is, I think it's still the same, or may be a little slightly different. Then you got right here. Your fire range is 18.9 kilometers. Your HP AP shell damage is 14,410. AA is still the same. Your rudder shift time goes to 11.5 seconds, so there's, and your speed reduces. But it's still great maneuverability, don't get me wrong. And you can see it's still the same. So it's up to you what commander you want to use for this. Uh, do I like it? Yeah. 
Uh, like I said, I'm not very good with Russian battleships. So this is my actual very first video I'm doing on a Russian battleship, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was trying to do one a while ago. Uh, didn't pan out too well. But I think it is. But anyways, I do like this ship. Uh, the Russian ships are heavy hitters. We all know that. But there is a slight why I don't play Russian battleships too much. I mean, when you're bow checking, you're great. You angle, you're great. That Rise Citadel, not so great. As you've seen in Earth, the, the game was in, uh, the, we were in, someone chunked me and took a major amount of damage out of me. So you definitely got to be broad, can't be broadside, you got to be angled, you got to be bow checking, and you also got to be careful of what you use commander. Because you do got fire starters in the game, fire spammers, which are the cruisers. You got to be careful on them too. But anyways, I think that's about on this one. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Please smash the like button, leave comments down below, subscribe to my channel. And one more thing, let's go on the record for this. Boop, boop. I would have had three games. Max damage is 91,000. So, I'll probably do a future video on this with this captain belt, but it'll be a while, ways down the road. But, anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.